Hi, I'm Ed Trout from Prophetic Life Ministry. Most of you should recognize me right here in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, please join us on YouTube and Facebook. Uh, Facebook, we do live every Friday and such like. Um, today I'm here, here with Colleen Marshall, my eldest daughter. She's not... Hi, guys. And she's at the moment, has been for the last year in a place called Adult Teen Challenge, which is a place for rehabilitation, people in crisis that go through difficulties and get healed and restored. A very successful uh, ministry started by David Wilkinson of New York. Those that might be familiar with him, Run Baby Run, the famous uh, Nicky Cruz books and such likes. Uh, <clears throat> but that was who started this whole movement to help people in crisis. My daughter was also in a crisis. Uh, nobody plans on doing crazy stuff. We just end up in all kinds of holes. And she was in such a hole in her own life. And God rescued her and helped her. And she ended up in this place where for a year she has been rehabilitated. And, and what I'm talking to you about, and I want to ask her some questions, is how that we don't give up. When we fall, we falter. Uh, God always restores and heals. God restored Peter in Luke 22 before he even fell. He said, and when you come back. So God is, is into restoration and rebuilding. So if you've fallen, even the righteous fall, they get up seven times. Do not stay down. We get up. So this is Colleen, and uh, she has four children, and I'm help raising actually three of them at the moment. And uh, so Colleen, tell me, uh, what did, what's the main thing you've learned in this last year that you've been in Adult Teen Challenge? Hold it. What I've learned is that I can't do anything without God. He is my everything. I mean, I can't stay sober. I can't fix my life. I can't have relationships. I really can't do a thing without him. He is my sole provider, my sole, just everything. And it's only through a personal relationship that I've learned through this place um, that I've realized that. And it, it changed everything. It really changed my entire life, not just the addiction I had, the, but it, the lies I believed, the, you know, my perception of life and who I am. It all changed when I became closer to him. So how do you see your future now? Do you, they're not going back to the same mistakes you've made before. How do you, how do you prevent it? How, what are you going to do? How, what do you see yourself doing? Well, for me, is um, I totally fell in love with him. Completely abandoned Who's to him? him. Jesus. Oh, yes. okay. Good. Um, I don't want to go back to that because it was so dark. It was so separated from him that I don't ever want to be without him again. Ever. I don't want to feel that separation ever again. And... Um, I've just learned to not make choices based on my emotions. The choices have to be based on what he wants, his will, his word. Uh -huh. So you take, what are you telling me? You take time to not be emotional and spend time with God, you not in a hurry to make a decision. Is that what you're telling me? Exactly. All a right. Commitment. A commitment. commitment. So tell me your relationship with God. How does that work? Do you pray? Do they, does God talk to you? Is it just going to church? What does that look like for those out there? Well, for me, it was a journey because growing up in the church, uh, being a PK, I just, I didn't know God for myself. I know about him. And I knew the stories, but I had to learn and I'm still finding a way. I'm still asking questions because for me, it's like, okay, why do I pray? How, I mean, how long do I pray? Um, it's still a journey for me, but what I do is I spend time with him. Even when I, the times that I don't feel him or see him, I know he's there because his word says he'll never leave. He'll never forsake me. He's always present. So I'm constantly hungry. I'm constantly seeking. I'm constantly just talking to him. I mean, even the hard days. Do you hear him? Um, it's more like of a, I, I, how do I explain it? I hear, it's, it's not an audible voice. Um, it's more of a feeling. It'll be um, a vision. It'll be a sound. It'll be just a whisper or a thought. Some, most of the time it's a thought. And then he'll confirm it for me throughout the day because I'm expecting. I'm constantly asking him, Lord, I don't want to be deceived again because my mind is still messed up. I want to make sure it's you. So he's so faithful that he, he always confirms it for me. And he, he knows me so well. He knows what I need and what ministers to me personally. And so I'm just constantly staying in that place of hunger, constantly seeking, constantly asking. I'm in an open communication with him, abiding in him, meditating on his word literally all day long. W wonderful. So now just in closing, wh what would you recommend for those watching today that are go going through a crisis? They have a marriage crisis. They have an alcoholic problem. They have a drug problem. They have something that's they 
that no one even knows about perhaps it's a secret you ashamed what is the steps to get that healed or fixed but the devil would love to destroy them that's his plan is this i've come that you have life jesus said the enemies come to steal divide and destroy so what would you tell them to do for me i tell on him all the time every thought every lie everything that i think i go tell somebody because i tell on him because he has no power over me if i keep it in the dark if i keep it a secret he can wreck my mind but if i tell somebody what it is i'm thinking what it is i'm feeling now, let's just say and they, get a, yeah, good counsel let's just say good, in a situation now that they feel they stuck deep in a hole with alcohol or drugs and what how can they get out of it how can they get free well the first thing is call to god say god if you're there if you're real and if you hear me i need your help right now and he will don't cry we don't want emotions here we don't do emotions sorry it's just because he did, he did that for me he pulled me out of that dark pit and all i did was call out help me uh-huh. and How the about, call came and, and you can look for help you can actually get professional yes. help like ask colleen yes. uh, teen challenges in almost every city in the major city in the world yeah, so the world, that's yes. one of the places you can go there are many places like that go to a church find find help especially someone that can represent the lord this is their tribe prophetic life we're glad you joined us today Tell a friend and uh, it's good to join us on propheticlife.com. We're here for you. Look forward to seeing you soon.